We're Jasmine and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy. We've been living and traveling in our van full time for over two years. Winter is quickly approaching and the cold weather is already dropping below zero. It's time for us to prepare for the cold. Subscribe to our channel to join the pack and come along for a wintry week in our tiny home on wheels. Morning. Morning. Time to fix this heater for once and for all, so I'm just going to undo the intake and the exhaust. And the fuel line. And the fuel line. You got three things to undo under here. Oh, okay. Be back. <laughs> How are your hands doing? <laughs> can't feel them, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even feel mine, I'm like, do anything. It's the metal that, metal gets so cold so fast, so it's just, fr all these bits are frozen, and I can't find a 10 millimeter. Yeah, because look how I'm honestly just gonna take that. the 10 millimeter somewhere else. Oh, 10 millimeter, <laughs> sink it. <laughs> all right, even though it is frigid out today, at least we have Mr. Sun, and I'm very thankful because we don't get him all that often. So it's warming up our hands a little bit. Hopefully this fixes the problem. We actually ordered the maintenance kit. It's gonna come on the 30th, which seems like a marathon away. So pro tip, always carry, carry extra on, on hand. I ordered two. The person that works at the truck center said that half the time the things don't need re to be replaced, that you can just clean the burn chamber. So fingers crossed that works for us. If not, this is a good learning experience for the 30th. Okay, so I've got the intake off. I've undone the exhaust and the fuel line, so now we are able to remove the S-bar from the inside of the van and get into that chamber. Oh, oh are we locked out? <laughs> it's so slippery, I almost fell. Oh, no, we're not. What are you doing? <laughs> you mean dramatic? <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, our heater lives under our passenger seat, so to get access to it, we just have to remove the seat, which is just a few screws, and then we are there. So this right here is our baby S bar. I love it so much. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, Bella. Missing it so I much. I mean, you're eh? a great heater and all, but you know, you just don't heat up our pipes here. Oh, hello. Okay, sit right here, eh? <laughs> the, the place is small enough as it is. Hey, Belle, can't you tell we're in the middle of a job? Don't care, moms. It's my time to go out. Don't care. Isn't this your seat? What are you gonna do? Forgot to undo the bolts to the actual heater itself. There we go. So pretty much what this does is this is a fan where it's gonna suck air in from the air intake outside. And it's this is like the computer stuff. And then it goes into this burn chamber where the glow, pl glow plug is. And then here is like the coils where it gets really, really, really hot. And it's pretty much just like a diesel blow torch. And then it just whoosh, Shoots out hot air forever. It's so nice. Don't you miss it? Yeah, a lot. So to remove it, we need to start with the wires and you can just take them out. You don't need to take a picture because they can't go back in the wrong slot. So you just play around with it. Be careful. I know, man. That's still broken. Yeah. We're gonna call some more places to see if they just have this in stock, because if so, they're gonna really save our life. <laughs> Hi there. I'm just wondering if you have any gaskets for the S-Bar on hand. I'm gonna see which ones I have here. 
Yeah, like the, the green uh, three bolt gasket. Yeah. yeah. And do you happen to have the little filters? And I don't have any. Oh wait. Yep, I have the filter with the installer. Amazing. <laughs> I'll be right there. What? Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. That is such good news. I'm so happy now. Okay, so not only did we open up our chamber to see that it does need a clean, which is super satisfying because the last time that we did do a maintenance, it actually was super clean in here and we were like, oh, well, that's not so fun. Now we have a job to do, so I'm probably going to go pick up some parts while Jasmine what? cleans out the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was picking up the parts. <laughs> no. Why? I was outside underneath the van. So oh, now fair. it's your turn to do the other dirty job. You're a better cleaner. Okay, hilarious. I got stuck with the dirty job. So I'm going to be using carb cleaner, a wire brush, and then I'm going to be cleaning inside of both of these. They're pretty carboned up. What Good. What difference, eh? Line up the holes. Now we're adding our new shiny filter. It comes with this nice little tool and you're gonna put it right in there. That's where the glow plug lives. That means it's in. <laughs> wow. wow, that was olive oil. <laughs> Everyone give this video a pause up for Crystal still being under the van. You go, girl. It's freezing. I got distracted, and as you can see, there's three cups here. <laughs> That's not my fault. I got distracted. Oh my goodness, Jasmine. All right. We well, we got over. some nice vegan cookies. And I'll get your beverages ready. But you shouldn't be videoing me because I didn't. I forgot the Doritos. Oh, and yeah, people are going to be pretty that, upset, eh? That, you know, mom came for an appearance and didn't bring the Doritos. Okay, I got to get back to this. It smells like it's burning. I'm only going to give it one pause up because there's no Doritos. Doritos. I love it. It's a good comment, eh? We're going to be testing the heater right after my mom, Laura, leaves. I was afraid about all the smoke and stuff. So yeah. I'm just going to have Warm one up and then testing it. Now that we've done the maintenance, we're going to reset the heater. So you just need something like really pointy and small to get in the little hole. Like if you ever had a Tamagotchi, you know what I mean. And so you just gotta poke it and then reset it and choose the amount of hours you wanna have it on, like do everything all over again. And that way in 500 hours or 1000 hours when you have to maintenance it once again, it's gonna tell you. Add in, Should light hold up. the power. Nice. Maintenance mode, perfect. How many hours, 12? Oh no, 24. 24 hours of runtime? What about Why not? 15? 15 tonight, okay. <laughs> I definitely sleep like a bear in the winter. 24 hours. <laughs> this doesn't smell bad. I'm not gonna celebrate yet because last week the heater ended up working until the middle of the night when we were freezing cold. So I think the ultimate test is if we can get through one night and then we'll let you know. See you all tomorrow. Good morning. We've woken up in a warm van. I don't know if you can hear it, but the heater is pumping and it was all night. We've all lost some layers except for the girls. <laughs> so relieved to know that we have full working heat in here again. And because it works on a thermostat, it will just be warm in here all the time. Whether we're going into the grocery store or we're going for a hike, we will come back to a warm house and that provides us with so much peace of mind because of our pipes, our newly built shower, all of these things to think about, our batteries, our electrical system, our water tank. There's just a lot in here that needs to be kept warm. I hope this helps someone who has an S-Bar heater or who is considering living in a van during the winter because it's very much doable. Now that we have heat, we can finally prepare this van for the winter. As you can see, 
This whole shower is a storage unit for everything that we need to do. But before we start doing that, we just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this week's video. We first partnered with Jackery about six months ago and we've been using the Jackery 500 for all this time and it honestly lives on this fridge box. We use it every day. So this is like an honest six month review yeah, of the Jackery. Yeah, it it's actually powering this shoot right now. <laughs> This right here is the Jackery Explorer 1000. It is a portable lithium power station and it has a 1000 watt pure shine inverter. It is a very powerful little beast and it even has three AC outlets, two USB-C outlets, which makes it amazing to charge MacBooks as it hardly drains any of the battery. It has two USB-A's, one extreme charge, as well as a cigarette lighter, and even a display so you know what percent you're at, and that way you don't drain it too much, as lithiums don't like to go below 20%. So we're sitting at 48% right now. I think we're gonna go charge it. You can charge the Jackery three different ways. If you have access to 120 volt, a household plug, you can charge it this way. This is how we charge the Jackery when we're driving. If we've got a long haul, we'll plug it in, and by the time we get to the place we've gotta be, it's charged. The second way you can charge the Jackery is 12 volt. The third and best way to charge the Jackery is with the two 100 watt solar panels. They are run in parallel, so it's super easy plug and play. We use the Jackery 1000 as a sidekick to our house electrical system. We use it to recharge everything that we use on a daily basis, like our laptops, our iPhone, everything that we use, all of our gear to produce these videos. Our iPhone can be charged on the Jackery 100 times, our laptop eight times. The battery life in this is unbelievable. We charge our drone, drone controller, ear pods, camera batteries, iPhone, 12 volt diffuser, and it powers our coffee grinder. The Jackery has saved us so many times and now they're saving you. From the 7th of December until the 13th, you can head on over to jackery.com or the link of the description of this video and you can get $100 off the Jackery 1000 or $30 off their 100 watt solar panels for their holiday sale. So we're gonna be insulating our pipes with this insulation. It's pretty much just like a small pool noodle, but for pipes. And this stuff is the way to go, says Rick because the other stuff, if it gets like condensation or whatnot, actually start to rot, which is not good. And especially because we have pipes coming right at our door, we noticed when we lost heat, they were getting pretty cold and we would never want them to freeze. Jazzy had a very genius idea. She's gonna tell you all about it. I'm pretty much gonna make a rug for our batteries because they are lithium. I mean, they do really well, the Battleborn ones, but just to make them even happier, we just got this sheet of insulation. We're gonna cut it and then this is gonna go underneath. So that means they're gonna be sitting on two and a half in inches of insulation, another half inch, flooring and ply. They'll be okay. Now that. <laughs> All this. Turns out we have way too much stuff and we're just becoming overwhelmed with the amount of tools and things we have. So we're just gonna go through all this to make room for all the things that make life so much more fun. Winter sports! Yeah. Those are gonna make our winter hikes that much more fun. Let's go hit the road. Road trip time! Let's adventure. Ready to go for a road trip? Yeah, let's go. We have opened up iOverlander again. 
It has been such a long time and we are heading on a road trip. I think it's about two hours away to some beautiful crown land and we're gonna do some winter camping. And with the time change, we'll probably be making it there right at dark because it gets dark at I mean, four o'clock. I know that happened a long time ago, but like, I'm still adjusting. And where we're from, somehow all the snow has like disappeared. It keeps coming and going, and coming and going. So hopefully there'll be lots of snow in the north. arriving at night is that we're gonna have no idea what it's going to look like tomorrow. Test the spots. Super slippery but I think we'll try. Now we're talking. Heat. Where's our reflectix? This is the reflectix that we have that we put on our window to keep all of our S bar heat in. And, <laughs> and then pull this over. And the heat stays in. And also privacy. Yeah. Which is real nice. From but, all the cougars. Yeah, like from what? <laughs> <laughs> from the trees. <laughs> Cooked and did the dishes. <laughs> You're making me look good. You are the best bandmate. Aw, you too. All right, so we're having seasoned rice, kale, tomato, and pumpkin seed, which we have all the time. Broccoli with soy sauce, sesame oil, crispy onions, and sesame seeds. And then Jasmine's fried tofu with, <laughs> what do you put on it? A bunch of spices. And it's delicious. Tofu can taste like anything you want it to taste like. You no one eats chicken eat. raw. <laughs> no one eats tofu raw. <laughs> Flavor it how you like. <laughs> How's it taste? Delicious. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Before we go, <laughs> does anyone else's partner ruin all their meals <laughs> with ketchup? <laughs> I can eat on everything. Good morning. We've woken up in the woods and we've had our first successful winter camp off grid this year. It was a great night and it felt even better to wake up here in the woods with not a soul in sight and nothing but Your animal dog? tracks on the ground. You have my boots on. <laughs> no, I don't. You have one of them on. <laughs> Jason and I have the same boots. This seems to be an ongoing problem. We're gonna have to no, label. No, I put them on. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> yeah, this one. This one was a little tight. Yeah, how do you not notice? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we good. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. Feeling a lot better there. Yeah, these match. Girls are so happy. They're absolutely. I don't even know where they are. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> They're oh, over the one. moon. Hello, wizard. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> I don't know where the other one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are running everywhere they can possibly run to, up and down, all around, hitting every smell and everything that this forest has to offer.
real life winter problem right here when your socks fall down in your boots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this spot. Wow, we could have all the vans here. <laughs> yeah, like this is super open. We should have Christmas here. <laughs> yeah, what do you think fam? Listen to that heater. I was gonna say, forever grateful for the heater. <laughs> oh, I have the keys. I don't know why I locked it in the forest. <laughs> I don't know why I locked it again. We'll see you all next week, Pack. Don't forget to give this video a pause up. See you Sunday. See you Sunday, 9.30. Ciao. Ciao. Anything to look out the window, eh? <laughs> Anything to be with her mom. Is are you kidding me? Right here all the time! <laughs> right here! Right with this all the time! No space. Velcro dog. Velcro dog. Savageable? <laughs> Savageable. Salisable. You wanna say it again? My grandma used to speak like that to me. To make me laugh when I was little. Hot away? Yeah. Hot girl, hot girl. Oh! Fill it! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you need this? You're too much fun.